Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Victoria West in South Africa in the Northern Cape province. It's not Northern Cape. What is it? Western Cape? Yes. And she finds in Northern Cape. Uh, number three, Lambo Street. No, nothing happened. Went to in Western, Western Cape. Cape and it works, really? Oh, okay, because I looked on the internet and it says Northern Cape. So you're saying this is still Western Cape? No, there's something wrong there. There's something wrong there. Well, best of luck, sir. Okay. To that and, uh, yeah. Okay. All the best. All the best to you. Thank you very much. Well, so. My information online says Northern Cape. Clearly that gentleman disagrees. He says Western Cape. Regardless though, I just want to show you the church here in Victoria West. So and we are in Kerkstraat or Church Street. And I want to start the vlog here because this is actually central to the town's history. The Dutch Reformed Church. So as is the case in many towns of the Karua, whether you're in the Western Cape, Eastern Cape or the Northern Cape, the Dutch Reformed Church has a history of establishing towns and what happened in 1843 the Dutch Reformed Church bought the farm Zierkuchat from a certain J.H. Klaassens and they established Victoria West and the town was originally called Victoria after Queen Victoria in England but they had to rename it to Victoria West because there was another place called Victoria in South Africa that they didn't want it to be confused with but anyway just want to show you what it looks like here on a Tuesday afternoon so you got commercial street down here doesn't look very commercial although I have to say that area over there looks pretty good pretty nice we'll have a walk around there in a sec and Kerkstraat so Kerk is church so church street here in Victoria West I think I'm entering an area with some beautiful houses architecture Brunkman Brunkman Street yeah absolutely check out this one with all the ornaments and obviously the backdrop of a Karua and of course over there as well not sure what this building is looks pretty official yeah another beautiful house so this looks to be a more affluent area in the town. At least that's what it looks like. If you look at the houses. And yes, obviously this is farming country. You can see people in the countryside in South Africa. They don't live in the gated communities you'll see in the cities, but obviously most of them have got alarm Alarms installed and there's a traffic jam. Hello, hi. Traffic chaos here in Victoria West on the gravel roads. But yeah, no, I was just saying in terms of safety, but you can see how relatively open some of the houses are in the countryside in the Karua, say, compared to the city. So you won't see this in the cities, for sure not. And I do love these plants in the street as well. Gravel roads, but beautiful houses. A very Karua type scene. And over here, so Eau de Pasturi. Bed and breakfast, so we had a Eau de Pasturi in New Batista as well. And beautiful houses here. Very colourful. Yeah, 
Yeah, just listen how quiet it is. The Oda Pasturi. Kekel and cry. A typical Karua street. The windmill. Fantastic. And some more beautiful colonial buildings here as well. There you can see the oldest house in the town, the Oda Pasturi, 1846. Wow. And walking here, I do get the sense that this is an old part of town for sure. Busy with restoration, bezig met opknappen. So it doesn't look open. And I could stroll here for hours just listening to the sounds of nature. And Not a worry in the world here in the countryside in the Karua. Yeah, check out these tall trees as well. I bet they're pretty old as well. And the outer pasturi from a, another angle. 1846. The oldest house in town. And the aptly named Cypress Street. Here in Victoria West. And you can go to the Tantars for dentist. Down there as well. So obviously in terms of the economy there's a lot of farmers in the area. Sheep farming, quite popular as is the case in other Karua towns and it's a little bit chilly today the wind is blowing hello sir Dag seven here it's a little bit chilly and a little bit windy officers attorneys yeah next to the road yeah so church street but certainly a lot more commercial buildings and cultural buildings here than in commercial street we saw earlier and some beautiful architecture as well so this looks to be the town hall the Stadtsaal looks pretty closed and just another shot there of a church beautiful building and giving you a shot here as well of the theatre Dag sê meneer, hallo. I have to say guys, I've never been to Victoria West, but my first impressions are very, very positive. And let's see, please note that seating is reserved for Merino Junction guests, so maybe a hotel or something here. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, Marino Junction Hotel. One of the banks here in Church Street. And looks like the municipal offices. And here's the post office. And the liquor store. So this road here, Church Street, seems to be the main road in town. Got the Victoria West local office and the South African Social Security Agency. I think Victoria West is also one of those places in South Africa where a lot of people don't actually come. They don't come here. But many people are familiar with Victoria West and many people will be familiar with or at least Rugby players will know of Mani Kisaru, the famous Springbok Centre. So he's from here. He's very much synonymous with Victoria West. And here's Pep clothing store. Here in South Africa. John X. Merriman, the last Prime Minister of a Cape Colony, 
He was a Member of Parliament for Victoria West at one stage. And talking about politics, so you would have heard me talk in previous vlogs, the Karua vlogs, about the construction of the railway line from Cape Town to the diamond fields of Kimberley. And hello, Yella, how's it going? All right, Azay, Azay, like a so. <laughs> yeah, just some friendly locals again. But you would have heard me talk about the expansion of a railway. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Lekker, <laughs> lekker. <Like a, like> <laughs> this is almost like I'm trying to construct a railway. Little bit by little bit because you get interrupted <laughs> by the friendly locals. Anyway, guys, I was saying about the railway line that got constructed from Cape Town to Kimberley. And I've read that. There was a bit of debate about whether they should build a station here in the first place. Because apparently, apparently the politicians of us... Hello guys, how are you? Very nice, are you from Victoria West? Yes. It's a beautiful place, huh? Thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> wow, again, the locals, very friendly. What is this, like a... Local clove shop. Let's go check out. Hi, hello. Dag say. Can we see you again? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, one of the shops here. Let's see what things cost. Backpack 80 rands. So. Again, one British pound is about 23, 24 rands. You can see here, uh, 120. Bedding, happy birthday plates, paper plates, 20 rand. Paper cups, 10 rand. Big party plans in Victoria West. 20 Rand for balloons. Thank you, sis here. Okay. Right. And the shop is called Honey Gold. Honey Gold. All right, there you go, the hill there with Victoria West written on it. And yeah, let me continue my railways story, guys, that I was telling you about earlier. So I mentioned the line from Cape Town to Kimberley, and the line eventually reached Beaufort West. And the expectation at the time, at least in the public sphere, was that Victoria West would be the next station. And apparently, this is unconfirmed, but this is something I've read, is that the government owned a lot of land in the region and some of the government ministers they were like i don't want a railway line built through my farms or my land so the actual line had to traverse eight miles or 12 kilometers in another direction and they built the station victoria west road but the actual victoria west station opened much later so the railways never reached victoria west when it should have done really and as i said that's unconfirmed so if anyone in the comments could let me know what happened that would be great but yeah the wind is really picking up here and actually the wind adds another element to the silence of a town it's a very quiet tuesday afternoon well apart from some friendly locals we met earlier or ran into earlier more of a shops here heaven and earth and contre gallery so the, the gallery here in the area looks shut as well so i wonder why so many places are shut here in victoria west i hope it's nothing to do with a declining economy hopefully people are just taking a siesta obviously 
people passing through the towns they will buy a soft drink or a bite to eat and their tourism would boost the local economy so I hope that people will come and visit here because I think all towns in South Africa could do with tourism and Victoria West is no exception here's another shop in Victoria West and there's a liquor land and a petrol station so this is very typical of South African towns it's probably something some of you have noticed but the main road in the town is very long and it's often the only street that really has activity in terms of people so when we walk there in the residential neighborhood for example with the nice houses there weren't many cars many people at all and over here in Kerkstraat I've said Ava, hello is it not Kerkstraat here? Daar zei, dankie. Dit is allemaal mooi door wat jullie het nie so jong. Daar zei, daar zei. Lekker dag vir julle hoor. Such a beautiful town. Some of the houses there, 1939. 1939. And yeah, long street here, Church Street. And Victoria West, actually another interesting fact. If you're from South Africa, you'll probably find this more interesting than others, but I mentioned the N1 in some of my vlogs so the N1 obviously connects the Western Cape with Gauteng which is where Johannesburg is situated and the N12 is the only other national road that connects the Western Cape with Gauteng and Victoria West is on the N12 so in theory at least there should be a lot of traffic passing through the town Middag, middag. Fruit sellers and there's another bank and there's another big supermarket the spa and apparently here in Victoria West if you're looking for the the best price that is what they advertise themselves as so yeah that's it hello 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 Fancy and ice cream. I'm on a kidney. Sorry. Yeah, in for yellow. That's it. Yeah, so that's the road we took when we drove here. So we drove from Graaf Renet and we drove through Murraysburg on the way here. But there you can see the N12 I just mentioned. So the N1, if you want to get on that, you just go straight on the R63 and you'll get to the N1 eventually, but this is actually the N12, this one here. And Marina Restaurant, another reference to the sheep farming. And there's a truck that obviously makes use of a national road here. And here's some directions to some of the places in South Africa. And you can see over there, Richmond, Free Sisters. Hello guys, how's it going? Yes, you alright? Yes sir. Are you from Victoria West? Yes sir. What do you think of the town? Is it nice? Yes, it's a nice place to visit, yeah, eh? it's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. I'm just meeting these locals and I'm saying thank you to them for showing me their town. Yeah. Nice one guys, thank you. Yeah, just checking out a bit more of the N12. And walking on one of the national roads here in South Africa. Darse, hello. And there you can see the N12, the Patstal. Check how high that bicycle is on there. I don't think anyone will be taking the N12 with that bicycle anytime soon. Yeah, loads of trucks here. Obviously passing through as well. 
Right, just Church Street is on the other side there. So here are the barbed wire properties in Victoria West. Most of the residential houses or the places where people live don't have this level of security. And I think it's fair to say that this street does not have the same level of architectural completeness as other parts of a town. But still a beautiful setting here against the backdrop of a, a hill there. So yeah, I, this is actually a bit sad to see. Not nice to see all this pollution and rubbish. But I guess this is not unique to Victoria West. And yeah, the wind is really picking up now. But yeah, what do you think of Victoria West? Let me know in the comments. Something a bit different. And as I mentioned, especially for South Africans, I think it's a place that many people have heard about or are familiar with Victoria West. But they've never been here. So I'm trying to give you a sneak preview at least of a main site of a town of Victoria West. I am conscious that I might be missing out some places as well or not giving exposure to certain attractions. Certainly the Manikis Ru Museum is closed so I won't have a chance to visit that which is a shame because I've actually got my Springbok jersey on to go and check out the museum of the famous Springbok Center iconic Springbok Center and yeah just another indication of the importance of the N12 the National Road 12 a major economic artery here in this part of the world more N12 there and a generator I'm not sure if it's load shedding at the moment so obviously in South Africa certain parts of the day there's load shedding which means the power gets turned off by ESCOM the state-owned enterprise for electricity and uh, there's some kids dancing happy that school is out here's another interesting building as well gospel so maybe a religious place this yeah looks like it gospel mission yeah just walking here in this part of town which is just off church street again and giving you an indication of life here Walking here down Hichu Street, another street in Victoria West. And some interesting buildings. Darse, hello. And the reason I picked Hichu Street is the architecture here just caught my eye. And again, another typical Karua scene. and kids playing in the street and the Victoria West written there I don't know if you can see it on the camera but just look how the wind blows and the sand in the street the gravel road and another thing that I've read about Victoria West is that the town also experienced a major flood in 1871, 27 February 1871 and I know that more than 60 bodies were discovered but oh, that's we just passed the sandstorm here, you can see there what I was saying about the flood and 
The sad thing is that the number of deaths was never fully established. Some ominous graffiti. Medicine, ID and photo. Okay. Some sort of health shop. There we go. So. Ingram's Cream in South Africa. That is quite prominent as well. So $24.99. Here you go, the Dove. Daily Moisture, $54.99. Yeah. If you want to get your hair washed, this is your place. Treasure May, $123.99. Cowboys and Crips, 50 bucks. So in terms of a mystery of a Northern Cape, Western Cape, I spoke to other locals in the town and they said it's Northern Cape. So I wonder if this is actually a bit of a debate amongst the locals. Is it the Western Cape or the Northern Cape? Check this house. A lizard and some flowers on the wall here. Certainly a lot of Northern Cape registration plates. You can see over there. So you do have a Dutch Reformed Church over there. But you also have another church here. And here's the museum and library. Let's go see if it's open. Oh, museum over here. Yep, pretty shut. No luck today, guys. Rugby museum closed and the museum here. Maybe they're just taking a siesta. But at least I'll show you an interesting emblem here. I think this is the town crest or the town emblem, perhaps. This stone was laid by P. O. Sauer on the 7th of March 1959. And yeah, beautiful crest there. Next to the, the library, the Bibliothek. Yeah, dog enjoying a Tuesday afternoon walk as well. And some locals on the other side. Hello. Yeah, just uh, very, very quiet day. Another house here in Church Street. You can see their Burghat water, so they get their water from boreholes in this region. Gosh, just look at the sand. The wind blowing. I think this is one of the things I remember from Victoria West is the strength of the wind. Maybe it's just my luck that on a particular day it's so windy. Or maybe it is a common occurrence. If you're a local, do let me know your views on that. Do you get a lot of wind here in Victoria West? Yo, there's a bit of a windstorm here. But luckily there's also some nice architecture to admire, some nice houses. Another provincial confusion, so maybe Northern Cape and Western Cape, CAA. I'm just at Victoria Street here. And I think there's a... I think this is the magistrate's office. Oh, hello guys, how are you? Very good, yes. Oh, dag se, hoe gaat het? Gaan goed, yes. I'm just meeting these locals here in Victoria West. Yeah, so very nice town that you have, yes. yes indeed. Thank you. It, it's small, but you are you are happy, and it's a great place, yeah. Please tell me, are you Northern Cape or are you Western Cape? I try to look up. Northern Cape. They're Northern Cape. So there we go. That's the mystery solved. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Very good, sir. Thank you. What's your name? 
Yeah. Yeah. Masabi, Masabi. Masabi. Yes, Masabi. Very nice guys, yeah. Yes. Hello sir, how are you? Very good sir. Yes. I'm Vili. Yes, yes, and I'll uh, No from Cape Town originally. But I live in I live in England now, yes, yes. Yeah. So now you're Willy. Now I'm Willy, yes, exactly. <laughs> from England. Ah, not today, unfortunately. Yes. No yes, no freebies for you, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just maybe time for a selfie, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Meeting all the friendly locals in Victoria West. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Here's a beautiful bed and breakfast. The Oda Squillen, 1891. And another, oh, I think maybe that's the same. Maybe it's just the entrance to it. Kingswell Corner. And Karua Delhi. And the sound of people hard at work, but yeah, just look at these beautiful houses or cottages. Karua Delhi, so people of course very proud that by part of a Karua here in South Africa. Just checking in. Two round sweets. And a coffee for Mark. Hello, take away coffee. Uh, yo, the is oh, okay, natuurlijk. Yeah, Load it's in your yeah. load setting. Okay, yes. Just been told the power's off, so no electricity. There's load shedding. But you can still get an idea of the, the beautiful interior, the very Nice relaxing atmosphere. Oh, that's very nice. That's a classic windmill in South Africa, or windpomp, as it's also called. So what do I take away from Victoria West? And my first visit here, well, I'll certainly remember the friendly people. I'll remember the wind, the beautiful backdrop of a Karua in the town and it's a shame about the museums and the rugby museum but maybe next time cheers guys thanks for showing me Victoria West I really appreciate it and thanks to the three of you as well thank you very much I'm just driving to my next destination, but I hope you enjoyed this tour of Victoria West here in the Karua region in the Northern Cape of South Africa. If you haven't done it yet, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for me in the comment section. Thanks for watching my videos and I'll see you again soon. Cheers!